hello guys mr solution here so i'm doing this video as a guide to the new people and also the old users of ftss exchange i just want to walk us through the new feature that has been introduced the new features that have been introduced into the exchange okay because a lot of persons have not really thoroughly acclimatized themselves to these new features that ftss has brought up so i deemed it necessary to put up this video as a guide so that we can all together understand how the new features works and then we can also appreciate the slickness of ftss exchange you know it's actually one of the one of the fastest rising exchange even though it's actually new it's one of the newest but then in terms of innovation and other things they are they are a frontier okay they are actually an outlier all right so please if you've not subscribed to this channel please hit the subscription button um, in, and if the video is educating enough you could like and share tell people about it all right but most importantly make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you subscribe to the channel that is the only way we can tell people that what we are doing here we are not here to play we are very serious about what we are doing all right so let's go ahead okay firstly if you look over here you can see markets we have otc we have ftt we have help and but then before proceeding to that side i want us to look at something very um very important some persons complain that they hardly see they hardly see the the place for them to do their analysis for them to draw their chart because before now it used to be very obvious once you log in you can easily see the board following this new feature you need to be very much a bit observant before you can actually notice it so, so once you log in here and then you're about to do your analysis you're about to do your chart just scroll down to this very section you can see please follow my screen you can see this once you tap on it you see all these various features all the various chatting tools will prop up right so if you're done with it you can also click on it again it will hide this so that you, your chart can be more obvious okay you can see it clearer all right so let's head to the market section okay this is the market region before now it used to be very different from what is obtainable at the moment but now because of the way they have aggregated information and aggregated data here it's a kind of it's kind of um different from what it used to be okay so here first of all you can see these features this is the features market so what it means is that anytime you click on this features market every coin on the features market will be displayed okay all the coins on the features market will be displayed then for this star star means uh, the one you like trading okay the very coin you like trading at any point in time maybe you just want to make it your favorite you just click on it okay click on the very coin you want to trade then it will start as you can see here these these ones are the ones I had already started before now because these are the coins i've only i've always analyzed and they are the ones i've always been trading so that's why it's kind of having this asterisk okay so other than that i could just go to futures market generally then scroll through no, scroll to maybe select the one i want to analyze and if i have chosen the one and i want to keep my eyes on it i can just for instance i can just stare it like this if i stare it that what it means is anytime i come to this features market and then i will just want to look at those ones i've already stared i just go to this section click on the stare icon and then the ones i've stared will come up okay the ones i've stared will come up then we also proceed to the spot markets for the spot market these ones are the coins on the spot market remember that FTA doesn't have much btc pairs because it is actually a derivatives exchange a derivatives exchange is actually uh, there's a slight difference between a derivatives exchange and an ordinary exchange so what it means is that FTS has has more of coins paid with the stable coins like usd and usdt usd and usdt all right so that is the thing that you don't you you uh, it's not like you can't see the coins paid with btc but they are they are just few they're actually micro in number they are more of we have more of coins paid with stable coins like usd and usdt okay so that is it so once you go to the spot market you can now scroll and probably choose the one you want to analyze what the coin you want to trade on the spot market okay so the same thing also applies to the stocks if you're trading the stocks go here click on stocks and then you see the various coins available in the stocks in the stock markets you see the coins available from tesla to as many of them as possible uh, as possible the the number of them that are available you can see them here okay and then on the spot market we have the future we have the spot okay so just as we have 
cryptocurrencies you can trade crypto either as spots or you can trade them as futures the same thing is also applicable to stocks markets okay you could trade them as futures you could trade trade them as spots for instance we've chosen the stocks markets you want to trade them on futures just click um, simply click on the future you will see the coins that are ready on the futures market so all these coins all these ones here from sequoia that this square please from square to the the first one that's airbnb i think it's arranged alphabetically i'm not too sure but i think it's no it's not arranged alphabetically because this is billy billy incorporated all right so it's not arranged alphabetically all right so if you're interested in trading stocks in the futures market simply go to the futures market but then if you just want to do them on stock on spot basis just want to trade them on spots go to the sports market as well okay you can just go to the sports market and click on sports okay okay assistance now there is no coin that is currently on there is no stocks that is currently on spot so all of them are on the futures market that's what it means okay so we also head to the leverage tokens i've already done a video on what leverage tokens are i've talked about it you can still go to check down look down through the videos you can you can watch the one i did about leverage te tokens for you to understand how they work so you click on the leverage tokens we have the minus 1x minus 3x 0.5x 1x and 3x all right so depending on the one you're looking at if it is one minus one x you could just click on click on it on it and then those ones on one x will be shown okay and then if it's the three x ones you're looking at they are all together here they're all put together here so each anyone that you're interested in trading you can simply go right ahead and then select it to trade all right so that's for the leverage tokens but then if you also want to trade volatility okay the volatility that's what you want to trade just click on the volatility then the coins in the volatility market will simply prop up for you to trade okay then we have the prediction market it's also there trump february we have trump stay usd btc hash 2020 quarter four and all that these ones are the prediction markets okay these are the prediction markets then we also have the fiat markets okay we have the fiat market so what this thing means is that just come as long as you are a trader it doesn't matter whatever it is you're trading just come ftx is open for everybody ftx is available for anybody just come are you a stock trader are you a spot trader are you a futures trader are you a volatility trader or you prefer the pre prediction market it is all available they are all available for you here okay so looking at this place okay these ones here are ftt that's the native table native token of ftx exchange that's the ftt we have the serum btc so what it means is that uh, usually at this point at this heading is the newly listed coins these are the ones that they normally put up here the newly recently listed coins okay so once a, a, a coin has recently been listed you can see them here and then you they will have the tag new for this is mobile coin i guess this mobile coin was listed either yesterday i think not, not up to 48 hours i'm very sure of that okay so it was just recently listed that's why it's still having the new tag on it okay the new the new stocks that have been listed uh, one of them is um airbnb that was listed less than 24 hours ago all right so that's that for then the president and all that okay these are all newly listed so any coin that, that has been recently listed on the exchange comes here and then they will have this new tag on it okay so we also have the otc over the counter ftc maybe you have you need help maybe you want to understand more things about the exchange simply click on this help icon and then you'll be directed to the various articles that have been published maybe to guide you maybe there is something you are yet to understand the help section will guide you through that you can see it here so it's actually the the can call it the library of ftcs exchange this is actually the library okay for maybe there is something you want to understand and all that just go to the help section you can just click on it and then read up on your own all right so so that's that for the help section and then at this point maybe there is something um you just want to probably use the volume monitor or whatever it is you want to check out okay there is a provision for that as well okay there is a provision for that here 
that's when you click on this place look at the volume monitor the competitor if there is actually a competition going on this is where you get updated about it there is a voting going on a staking uh, opportunity the leverage tokens and options and all that the quant zone this is where you access them okay so then at these three ellipses here at this drop the once you click on it it also takes you to the various markets either on spots or on futures okay it's showing this few here because these are the ones i had already stayed if i just want to look at it generally holistically i could just go right ahead and then uncheck it okay let's go back i could just go right ahead and on go to the futures market okay if i check if i click on it so the, the only ones that we show are the ones i've already stayed okay but then if i just want to look at it totally i could just go and click on this futures market then this section also brings you to the various markets available you could search for the coin maybe you want to look for which coin now let's say srp okay once you search for srp and either uh, on futures or on sports it will show for you if it's for the sports market it will come up if it's for the futures it will come up there okay then you can now choose whether it stocks leverage tokens volatility prediction fiat and all that whichever one it is you want okay you can simply access it from there then the next thing we also have to look at is this place this we have to consider here look at this area here here we have ticker we have name we have 24 hour volume we have price we have daily change okay so just for you to know the coin that have been doing well for the past 24 hours you can also just click on this daily change you see the one that has gone up so high okay the highest so far has been flamingo that's flm perpetuals okay is the highest if you click on it again you see the one that has dropped down the lowest and that is ample fourth that's a m p l perpetual ample fourth perpetual features that's the one that has increased the highest for the past 24 hours then for the one that has gone high that's flamingo okay we've talked about that then you can actually start scrolling down maybe you just want to know the one that is okay for you the one that you can that is within your range and the, the one you feel you are you, can, you are comfortable either buying or selling okay you could just scroll down and then they are arranged according to how the price has dropped from the one that has dropped highest to the one that has dropped the least for the past 24 hours okay so that's how they are all arranged on the exchange okay the same thing also applies to maybe you want to start analyzing the market from the one that has gone highest to the one that has dropped lower so highest is flamingo and then if you keep on scrolling down it, it keeps seeing them and all that okay so and then as a rule you know uh, though this is not what it, this um tutorial is for as a rule any coin that has gone highest in a day i don't think it's is actually your best interest to try buying it or anything okay so i don't really do that but that's my method that's my pattern anyways i'm not saying that a coin that has gone as that has gone as high as 20 percent in a day can still increase it can still increase but then you know somebody that is become that is very conscious of risk doesn't really do everything okay so somebody that is very conscious of preserving his money and all that doesn't do everything okay so that's that for that then let me try logging into one of my accounts so that we can also see what it looks like when you are logged into ftx totally all right good so as it, as it is now currently i'm logged into ftx exchange i'm logged into one of my accounts actually i think i have a little money here that's like 15 dollars so there about okay so i've logged in here then this is just how it's this is the wallet section of, of the, my account i just logged into the wallet section of it okay so once you go to your wallet section that's what you call a sub account sub account means you can create more than one account on ftx the essence of doing that is for you to manage your risk very well maybe you want to trade stocks you want to trade stocks um futures you want to trade spot market you have the option of creating many accounts for that under the same account so to do that just go to the sub account section okay click on this sub account section then click on create once you click on this create you see there is now a provision for you to name it whatever it is you want to name it maybe i want to create a, an account for stocks i just click on i just write stocks here okay then i click on create sub account okay i've created the sub account for sports you see 
for stocks this is it here yeah? i've created a sub account for sports maybe i want to create another one for features i want to create another one for sports i want for volatility so the main the essence of the this is for you to spread your risk very well okay to for you to manage your risk very well so they don't get overtly exposed okay more than you are you are supposed to be all right so this is it so at these places you see your balances your deposits your deposits that have occurred so far your withdrawal so far your positions if you're currently in any position you have any position open this is where you sit it feels feels means your both your buy and your sell others okay if you have both buy and sell others that have been executed you click on fuse and then you see then conversions means you can convert from one coin to another okay you can convert from maybe btc to usdt or maybe from ethereum to btc or from whichever you can just convert from one coin to or the other and then the beautiful thing about these conversions is that everything is free you're not paid you're not paying for anything it's totally free it's free and then to convert those to for converting to those means maybe all those micro small small amount maybe 0 0.001 dollar or there but you just want to convert convert the dust just convert it to any other coin there is still a provision for that so you click on this convert to dust it converts to the coin of your choice then we have the this place is for you to maybe change your view normally i like i like i like my theme black i like my background black dark okay actually because of my sight because of my eye so i always want it black so that I, I will clearly see it then if you prefer the lighting you can also choose the light if you prefer black you can choose black if you prefer dark like myself you can choose the dark um color then if there is still other setting you, you need and the other other settings you want just go to this very place and then you can go right ahead and do your setting and the profile and all that all right so that's that for that that's just i just want us to walk through i just want to walk us through the fts features so that we can understand how it works and the fts exchange so that we can understand how it works okay so then for the charting area okay assume you want to analyze flamingo perpetuals you click on this we've talked about that that was the first thing we looked into at the introductory section of this place of the video so you can always come here to do your analysis remember i said you want to get the analy analysis tools just go here click on this thing everything will pop up then you can start doing your analysis and all that okay so also maybe you're looking for indicators this is where you can get your indicators the time frame is here the chat the maybe you don't want candlestick you want to use holo candle hacking ashi or maybe line or area whichever one it is you want you can also come here and then choose it then as, as i said this is for indicator and all that okay so so i hope this video has been educative enough i hope i've been able to guide you through how to understand the fts exchange especially those of you who are new okay who haven't really mastered this and then for this section we have to place and buy others i've already done a video on that you can just simply refer check one of the videos i've done about placing others on ftx so that i can understand how it works and also how to use the advanced others i've done a video on that you can check some of the videos there for you to understand how to use the advanced others on ftx exchange so guys thank you so much and please if you've not subscribed to the channel make sure you hit the subscription button share like comment what, whatever it is it is you feel about the about the video talk about it there and then if you're looking for a community of traders you can join where we share insights about cryptocurrency trading i drop free signals occasionally it's not really uh, compulsory but i do sometimes i draw drop signals for traders to maximize or maybe to trade alongside with me you can join my community of traders on telegram i'll be dropping the link at the description section of this video or maybe you want to connect with me on twitter i'm on twitter you have a personal question you want to be cleared on i'm on whatsapp my whatsapp contact is also at the description section of the video i will see you guys in the next episode ciao